Hey guys, pretty excited about this ball I got. I tested the Saint 9 ES Gold, which was a ball that's supposed to match up with the Tylus Pro V1 and it did quite well in my testing. Then I tested the Saint 9 U Pro, another good ball that was almost even more of a surprise than the Saint 9 ES Gold. So today, Saint 9 came out with the U Pro Tour. They didn't come out with it today, but today that's what I'm going to test. So I'm going to play a couple holes with this U Pro Tour, and I'm pretty excited about it. And I really like that alignment aid there. So let's give this ball a spin. Five holes to go, just play 13. Need to palm away again. Gotta hit more greens. My game's of seen now. Hooks. Okay guys, I hit a little hook there, off the toe a little. That one shot, the ball felt not as soft as that ES Gold, but um, definitely not as firm as the U-Pro, the regular U-Pro. Again, that's just one shot. It's definitely not as soft as that ES Gold, but let's go get to it, see where it is, and check out the performance. All right guys, I got 122 to the pin. Ball's a... Uh, a little above my feet. Shouldn't be much of a problem. Can stuffed over on the left. And uh, let's get at it. Definitely not the ball there, guys. Kind of got caught up in the rough, hit it a little heavy. Uh, but we'll get to test that ball out on the chip shot now. Okay guys, I really feel like that alignment aid, it's one of the better alignment aids that I've seen. You know, that's just one putt, but I think that alignment aid helps me pretty good. All right guys, last time I was on this hole, I had a little trouble with this tee shot. So I used that alignment aid, gonna point it pretty much straight down the middle, and uh, let's see if we can follow that and get a fairway. must have some kind of jinx going with this hole because I didn't get a fairway it almost looks like I hit it in the same place I hit it last time but that ball felt pretty good I'm not kidding guys this ball is almost in the exact same position I was last time I played this hole behind the same little tree except the pins over in the center so I think I can hit a 54 and I think I can hit a 54 and not have to worry about the tree before the pin was on the right so I was in trouble so let's go, let me see if I can uh, loft one up there. I gotta land it short because it is firm. We needed to two bounce that one on the green. Instead we one bounced it on the green. So. We've got, I think that ball rolled about 20 feet past the hole, but let's go and see if we can make a putt. Let's see how this U-Pro feels off the putter.
not bad not bad at all again this ball does not feel as soft it, uh, it's pretty much between that es gold and the the u pro the u pro is a firm ball not not super hard um but it's just this is between the two but this is a a very good golf ball very good golf ball so far i'm gonna hit the u pro tour i really love that these also have these mental mates different characters i'm gonna hit three shots from 104 into this green just to kind of see how this U Pro Tour reacts with the wedge shot. That was a pretty good start. I didn't hit those last two quite as good, but we're gonna get up there and we'll see how the ball reacted on the green. How far did they release? Okay guys, 0 for three. We'd love to make a birdie from 104 hitting three balls, but uh, it is what it is. Three easy pars and a ball that is very playable so far. All right, guys, from 50 yards with the 54 degree wedge, the U Pro launched about two degrees higher than the Tylus Pro V1. Uh, spin was about 500 RPMs less. Uh, descent one degree higher. Peak height also one degree higher. With the 7 iron, we had 600 RPMs less spin with the U Pro Tour versus the Pro V. Uh, the ball speed only about one mile per hour difference and the launch was really close. Uh, descent 42 degrees versus 44 with the Pro V1. Peak height pretty close and the carry numbers matched uh, between the two balls. The uh, U-Pro did roll out further because of the 600 RPMs less spin. With the driver the ball speed was within one mile per hour the two balls launch was the same spin within about a hundred rpms of spin besides that these balls with the driver perform uh, very similar two yards less carry with the u pro tour and two yards total distance hey guys if you want to see the video on the ball that i feel most closely compares to this u pro tour click the video above if you like the video like comment subscribe until next time Mr. Shore Hitter, out. Some big fades, it's not my day now. Why did I play now? Just clear my head, get back in this. An outside shot, you still can win this. You run off birdies before, why not now?